so sorry um i did not make a video the other day uh my weekend and mini vacation from work has not been the best that it could possibly be um me and austin had a thing we're better now but we had a thing um and so i was just kind of lounging in my room being all depressed like and therefore there was no video happening at the time um can i just say that i'm absolutely in love with my eyeshadow today it's stop that it's amazing it is bright blue and it's shimmery and i love it and it is everything that i am um but really the point for this video at the moment is to introduce to you somebody new. Surprise! New things! Come here. Come here. You won't come. Bam! Tiny puppy. Yeah. There he is. Look at him! <gasps> Do you see yourself? What's that? That is Bam, um, because he walks like a baby deer, so Bam be easy, but Bam. Um, and he is a teacup chihuahua, and I am not a fan of chihuahuas, nor am I a dog person, as it were. Um, but my family is fostering him, because he was a, um, kennel puppy, and he was just bred like insanely and they you know the like the puppy mills and whatnot he came from one of them in ohio and he because he's a male they ship them out if they don't get picked up by a certain age they get sent to a flea market in which they get disposed of at the flea market and a lady picked him up and fostered him out to other homes to be fostered there and then he's gonna go to a permanent home so this is him right now as tiny as he is he's four months old and he's so little he's so little he just fits in the palm of my hand he's so little and he's so sweet so right now i'm training him and teaching him everything he needs to know so he can go to his forever home and be loved and be taken care of and just everything He's so cute, and he's so little. He's doing really well. I'm trying to separate me and him, though, because I don't want him to get too attached to me because he's not staying with me, obviously. And I don't want him to be all upset. And Austin loves him with all his heart. And I think Austin's going to be like, we can't get rid of him. He's going to come with us, and I don't want to. I, like, he's adorable, but I don't... Taking care of a dog is a lot of work, you guys, if you guys aren't ready to have a dog forever. Especially little dogs. Little dogs live forever. Chihuahuas live, like, 15 years. And if you are not, hey, y'all, if you are not prepared for this, then don't get a dog. Because then they end up like him. They end up at different homes and being passed around and have to be fostered or euthanized and things like that. And that's not okay. Like, they're... They have, if they're alive, they know, they have emotions, they feel, they know that they're not loved when, when, when bad things happen to them, they know. Sad faces. Sad faces for all the lost kittens and puppies and all the random animals that don't have homes either. Like people that think alligators will be fun to have a, as a pet and then they get big and people are like, oh god, I didn't know that they got big. And then they get shipped off and sent places and... Like, seriously, though, consider before you get an animal, because it is a lot of work, and they are, they need love. If you're not home a lot, then you shouldn't have one, because it's not fair to them, because then they get anxiety and separation disorders, and they just, they don't function as well as they should. They need, unless, unless you have other animals, because then they need companionship, but, I don't know. My little spiel today is all about animals and animal abuse. I mean, like, I don't understand. Like, when you see him, like, 
He's so little. And just, he doesn't, when he first got here, he didn't know how to walk because he'd never been out of a crate. Like, that's sad. He didn't know anything. He doesn't know anything. He's four months old and he doesn't know how to walk, how to whimper. He doesn't know anything because he hasn't been taught anything. So he's just a sad, lonely little thing and he doesn't know what love is and he flinches when I go to pet him because he's never had human contact. He loves other animals, loves them. Like my cats, he will try to play with for hours. The cats aren't having it, but he wants to play with them, but he does not understand humans because humans have just been really mean to him the four months he's been alive. And that's just sad. It's sad, you guys. It's, like, heartbreaking. I mean, just look at him. Look up. Come here. Up, up, up. Here he is. I mean, he's just so sad. So that's my little thing. And if you are going to get an animal, try adopting them. Because a lot of them need homes, and they need shelter, and they need love, and they need a family. And a lot of people don't want sheltered animals because they think they're damaged, or that they're not going to be as affectionate as when you get them when they're little. But I gotta tell you, a lot of my animals have been adopted, pretty much, or they I found them outside, and I just take them in. And they are so affectionate and grateful that you love them now, that they're amazing. They are amazing animals. They are amazing pets. And they will love you. But that's my little rant. I'm sneezing. That's my rant. So I'm going to go, you guys. Because I got to go take him outside. So I'll talk to you guys later. Ashley, I love you. And maybe you want him. You want a dog. Do you want him? I will bring him to you. Ooh. <laughs> Bye.